Good day, students. You are welcome to the e-learning platform of the Lagos State Government. My name is Okewo Adewale, your economics instructor for today. I shall be taking you through the topic mining. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Define mining, its importance, effect and challenges faced by the mining industry. 2. Identify the various types of mineral resources found in Nigeria and their uses. 3. Describe the components of the Nigeria mining industry. Meaning of mining. Mining can be described as the industry and activities connected with getting valuable or useful minerals from the ground. This is called extraction of mineral resources. Mining can include extraction of metals and minerals like coal, diamond, gold, silver, platinum, copper, tin and columbite, iron ore and so on and so forth. That is the process or business of digging in mines to obtain minerals, metals, jewels, etc. Some mining sites in Nigeria include Enugu, where coal is mined, Ajaukuta in Kogi State, that is iron ore, Niger Delta area, we have crude oil, Iwekoro in Onu State, where limestone is mined to produce cement importance of mining the primary impacts and benefits of mining include one revenue and profit for both individuals and government two foreign exchange earnings three source of employment four regional development and infrastructural development designed to meet state development goals 5. Provision of raw materials for industry. Iron ore is used to produce iron sheets, limestone from cement, and so on and so forth. 6. It aids the transfer of technology. 7. Diversification of the economy. And last but not least, source of energy supply. Mind materials are needed to construct roads and hospitals to make computers and satellites to generate electricity and to provide many other goods and services that consumers desire to enjoy the mining industry supports our everyday life and also provide the foundation of engineering achievement for decades to come effect of mining on the environment the effect of mining on the environment cannot be overemphasized in spite of the various benefits mankind derives from mining activities mine exploration construction operation and maintenance may result in land use change which may have have associated negative impacts on the environment. These negative impacts include 1. Deforestation, that is, cutting down trees and exposing the surface of the earth to agents of denudation. 2. Erosion, washing away of the surface of the earth by running water as a result of exposure caused by mining. 3. Contamination and alternation, alteration of soil provides. 4. Contamination of local streams and wetlands. 5. Increase in noise level and dust and 6. Neglect of agriculture and other productive sectors. Agriculture has been abandoned by people in some areas in search of greater income from the mining of precious metals challenges faced by the mining industry. The mining industry in Nigeria is faced with many challenges amongst which are 
one inadequate capital mining activities often requires large amount of capital to procure mining equipment and technology poor transportation network many mining sites are poorly linked by good roads networks three inadequate personnel experienced and highly qualified personnel for the mining industry are in short supply four corruption and sabotage the mining industry in nigeria is faced with high level of corruption and sabotage making it difficult to realize its potentials five fluctuations in world prices there are fluctuations in the world prices of most minerals and this discourages exploration thank you for your attention and participation please join me in the next broadcast as we bring this session to an end thank you you are welcome back to the continuation of our lesson on mining we considered the meaning of mining importance and the effect of mining on the environment we shall now identify the various types of mineral resources found in nigeria and their uses mineral resources found in nigeria nigeria is endowed with abundant mineral resources including gold iron lead zinc rare metals coal and gemstones which could be annexed for its development. These mineral deposits were formed at different stages in the geological evolution of Nigeria. Natural resources play a big role in the economic sector of any nation. The main mineral resources in Nigeria and where they can be found are as follows. 1. Petroleum and natural gas. Petroleum is the most important mineral that is available in Nigeria. About 2.5 million barrels per day is produced, while the gas reserves are put at 160 trillion cubic meters. The nine oil producing states of Niger Delta area and Lagos is responsible for this quantity of oil and gas produced per day. Rivers Delta, Cross Rivers, Aquaibon, Imo, Abia, Bayesa, Edo, Ondo, and recently Lagos State. 2. Coal. Coal was first found in Enugu in 1909. Nigeria has about 3 billion tons of indicated coal reserves in 17 identified coal fields. About 600 million tons of processed reserves of coal are in existence. Coal had been discovered in Enugu, Ondo, Sanfara, Benue, Nasarawa, and Plato states. 3. Bitumen It was discovered in 1900. Bitumen reserves in Nigeria is said to be twice the volume of the country's existing crude oil. It is put at 42 billion tons. It can be found in Ogun. Lagos, Edo, and Ondo State. 4. Iron Ore It is one of the mineral resources in Nigeria with its biggest deposit in Itakwe, Kogi State. About 3 billion metric tons of iron ore is thought to be present in Nigeria. Kogi, Enugu, Niger, FCT, Abuja, Benue, Kwara, and Delta State. 5. Gypsum. About 1 billion tons of gypsum deposits are widespread across some Nigerian states. It can be found in Anambra, Bochi, Boronun, Bayesa, Benue, Imo, Delta, Edo, Gombe, Sokoto, Kogi, and Ondo states. Gold. Gold. It is one of the mineral resources in Nigeria that is exploited on a small scale basis. Gold deposits can be found in states as Oshun, Oyo, Sokoto, Kebi, Sanfara, Niger, Kwara, Eboin, Kaduna, Edo, Abuja, and Bauchi, Talik. It can be found in states as Kogi, 
Niger, Oshun, Kaduna. Atalic reserves in Nigeria is estimated to be about 40 million tons. Sink and lead. The latest data show that about 10 million tons of sink and lead veins are widespread over Akwaibom State, Abia State, Abuja, FCT, Benue, Anambra, Bayesha, Enugu, Cross River, Eboi, Kano, Taraba, Niger, and Plateau State. Barite and bentonite. They are the major components of mud which are used in the drilling of all kinds of oil waste. About 700 tons of bentonite is said to be available in Nigeria. In such states as Plateau, Adamawa, Boronu, Bochi, and Taraba State. Gemstone. This is one of the most important Nigerian mineral resources. They can be found in states as Bochi, Plateau, Kaduna, um, EG, Ruby, Sapphire, Tomaline, Aquamarine, Emerald, Amethyst, Topaz, Floor, Sapal, Garnet, and Zikon, which are considered to be the best in the whole world. Kaolin. Kaolin can be found in the Nigerian Kaolinitic clay reserves. It has, it has been put at 3 billion tons and is present in such states as Teta, Adamawa, Bronu, Kastina, Ekiti, Ondo, Kaduna, Kogi, Ogun, Sokoto, and Plateau State. Rock salt. About 1.5 million tons of the rock salt is said to be deposited in Nigeria. It can be found in Benue, Eboni, Abia, Akwaibom, Cross River, Anambra, Imo, Kastina, and Sokoto State. And last but not the least, limestone. Limestone deposits in Nigeria is said to be about 2.3 trillion metric tons and 568 million tons proving. Limestone is found in commercial quantities in Kogi, Sokoto, Cross River, Enogu, Ogun, Gombe, and Benue State. Thank you for your attention and participation. Please join me in the next broadcast as we bring this session to a close. You are welcome back to the final presentation of a lesson on mining. We have identified the various types of mineral resources found in Nigeria and their uses. We shall now identify the uses of mineral resources and components of mining in the mine, Nigerian mining industry. Uses of the Nigerian mineral resources. Coal. It is used as household energy fuel, raw materials for the metallo metallurgical and chemical industry. Kaolin. Kaolin is used as the basis of pottery and brick production. It is also useful in the sphere of cosmetology for various face and body masks, production of ceramics, and production of cement and roofing tiles. Bitumen. Its sphere of usage touches engineering and material construction, waterproofing in the construction of roads, building and structures, laying pipelines, production of asphalt concrete, manufacturing of roof materials, paint and cable industry. Columbite. Columbite is used as natural remedy or even during black magic rituals. Gemstone. Precious metals are used in jewelry and mobile phones. Iron ore. Iron ore is used for the production of steel of various types and other metallurgical products. Iron steel, which is a major raw materials for cars, frame of buildings, etc. Copper is used in, the, in electrical wiring production, while aluminum is used in aircraft and to make drink cans. Limestone. Production of cement, crushed stones for construction, and so on and so forth. Limestone is a major raw material for building and construction industry. Gypsum, used in production of cement, industrial and building plasters for agriculture, prefabricated warboard. Gold, gold is used in dentistry and medicine. Jewelry and arts production, medallions and coins. It is also used for scientific and electronic instruments, computer psychiatry, and so on 
and so forth. Talic. Talic is used in the production of paper. Ground talic is used as filter in ceramics, paint, paper, roofing, plastics, cosmetic, and in agriculture. Tin. Tin is used in the manufacturing of cans and containers, electrical equipment and chemicals. Petroleum. Production of PMS, diesel, gas, kerosene, and so on and so forth. Components of the Nigerian mining industry. Nigeria is well blessed with a lot of minerals, which if exploited judiciously will lead the country into an abundance of wealth. A lot of solid minerals such as precious and base minerals Industrial minerals, energy minerals, ETC, are abundantly available in Nigeria. Around 1960s to early 1970s, the country used to be a major exporter of tin, columbite, and coal. However, the mid-1970s activities in this sector began to dwindle. The discovery of oil led to shift in the focus of federal government from solid mineral to crude oil as a major source of foreign exchange for the country. The mining sector only accounts for about 0.3% of the country's GDP, with Nigeria having to rely on the other countries for processing minerals that can be produced locally. The Nigerian mining sector can be classified into three main subsectors based, based on the key activities currently carried out. These subsectors are exploration and mining upstream, processing and beneficiation midstream, marketing and transportation downstream. The upstream and downstream subsectors are active in the country currently, while the federal government is putting plans together to ensure the midstream subsector comes alive as well. Exploration and mining. It refers to the process of carefully and diligently searching for and identifying potential localities where useful and important minerals are extracted from the earth, while mining, mining, while mining is defined as the process of extracting minerals that are valuable as well as other geological materials from the earth, usually from an ore body. Processing and beneficiation subsector. Midstream. This refers to the steps taken to improve the benefits in terms of the economic value of the ore by removing gauge minerals, impurities, thereby increasing the level of purity of the end product. Marketing and transportation. Downstream. This subsector, subsector concerns itself with the marketing of processed minerals that is, finding a willing buyer for the product as well as transportation, transporting the products to the end users. References Fundamentals of Economics by R.A.I. and Yanwucha, 2. Essentials of Economics by C.E. and D. and the Internet. Assignment Identify five mineral resources in Nigeria apart from the above mentioned one and discuss the use, uses of each. Thank you for your attention and participation. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Bye for now.